this was one of those games where Barcelona against Inter, you know, was going to effectively decide second place. Yeah. At, at least on paper. Now, there are permutations. Um, this is a game that Barcelona pretty much needed to win to be able to control their own destiny. It finished 3-3. It was a tremendous game. Yeah, that was. second half, we saw we saw mistakes, but we also saw a lot of quality. It was just so engrossing. Some people suggesting this might be one of the greatest Champions League group games ever. Um, I want to get from you. I'll, I'll tell you how, how, how I saw the, the two teams approaching it, and then you can tell me if you agree and who got it right and who got it wrong. Simone Inzaghi did something that was kind of unnatural for him, which was, all right, we're going to go here to defend. Um, and he set up that way. We're going to try mm. to defend. We're going to hit on the counter. We may not be entirely equipped with it because obviously Jacob's not so quick and whatever. But without Brozovic, without Lukaku, we're not even going to think about going here That's and imposing right. ourselves. So shades of the Mourinho of Barcelona, course, yeah. right? uh, the Mourinho Inter. Barcelona game, right? Xavi approached this as we're going to play possession. The little fellas, Pedri, Gavi, moving the ball around, Rafinha, and we're just going to take the game to them and. And we'll get a goal at yeah. some point because we're the better team. Yeah, I think that was about it. This is what we expected as well. I don't think that Inter could have played very differently. And I think that was the most efficient way for them to try to set up and then, and then try to put on a special performance, which in the end they did. Although that first half, when Barca took the lead, just before the break with Mandembele, so Mkhitaryan forget Sergio Roberto, it's a good goal. Before that, Inter had big chances. Yeah. Ter Stegen and they hit the woodwork and Ter Stegen had to make big save as well. But then you thought, okay, this is it now. Barca took the lead against a team that was set up to defend yeah. and to not concede. So now the second half should be controlled by Barcelona. They have the players for it. And that's where I was the most disappointed, Gav, is that when they took the lead at home, at the end of that first half, I really expected Barca in the second, in the second half to just control it completely, control possession, control the rhythm of the game, most importantly, so yeah. don't let yourself exposed, don't let Inter hit you on the counter, don't be stupid. And yeah, it was, they did the complete opposite. Yeah, I, I, I think there was a pretty shocking lack of maturity completely. to the way they played, which is surprising when, you know, in the end, Busquets, Pique, Lewandowski, these guys have been through it all. Um, I also think to some degree, I, I wonder, I felt like in the approach of this game, Xavi loaded so much pressure on this Barcelona team with obviously the refereeing from the first leg, which we, yeah. know, we, we talked about. Um, that didn't help. Uh, and and I, I thought they were certainly hard done by in the first leg. Um, at the Camp Nou, Inter fans were, were asked, you know, oh, don't bring your don't team colors, shirts. don't yeah. wear shirts, which, you know, not, so not, not go shirtless. That's not what we're saying. Don't wear your team jerseys, yeah, your right? Kids, yeah. Don't wear your colors. Um, I... I, I thought you just loaded so much pressure on this game, which for a team that had actually not been playing great, Barcelona haven't been great in, mm -hmm. in La Liga and you know in, in, in the last couple of games, I, I thought it was just the wrong way to approach it. Yeah, you know? I agree. I, I, I just think we will talk about Piquet in a little bit. I mean, Eric Garcia is another matter. <laughs> but I think there's a point where Sergi Busquets, as good as he's been for this team, in the last 15 years, maybe even more, there's a, there's there's the time where against certain type of teams like Inter, who we're going to run, who we're going to run a lot because they will play on the counter. That I don't think you could play Busquets anymore, and I think it was you would have played the young. 100 percent. I would have started with the young, and then maybe later in later stages in that game, you bring Busquets on Busquets to, to control again the midfield and the the rhythm and and all of that. But to start with Busquets. Which the first half was okay, but the second half, once Inter had to attack a little bit more, go on the counter even even more, I think that the lack of Busquets activity and intensity just cost Barca so much. So the upshot of this, just to give you the lie of the land in the group, is that uh, if Inter beat Victoria Pilsen uh, at, San Siro. At, at the San Siro next week, and look, we've seen Inter screw things up many True. times yeah. <laughs> in, in the, the Champions League. Yeah. Um, then Barcelona are out. Barcelona are going to the Europa League. Equally, if Bayern Munich beat Barcelona, um, mm -hmm. which is not or even draw, unthinkable. Barcelona need two wins out of the last two games. Then Barcelona are out. So it's definitely backs against the wall. And this is made all the more serious, of course, by the big gamble that they took. Mm -hmm. And we said it, right? People said, oh, yeah. they have to do the levers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. Okay, lever this. Now you kind of have this nightmarish scenario where you could lose out anywhere from 60 to 80 million in, in revenue. They had budgeted to reach 
uh, the Quarter quarterfinals finals. of the Champions League. So that's pretty serious. We're going to get into all that on the Gavin Jules podcast. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.